folk, good afternoon and welcome to PG TV. Today we're fishing the beautiful Hampshire Avon in search of the Atlantic salmon. And it's very hot conditions. We've got 17 degrees on the water temperature, 21 degrees air temperature. And my guess is these fish are tucked in the deep pools right under the undercut in the shade away from the sun. And what I've done is I've come out with my um, Devon minnow setup and I'll just show you how that works. So we start off with a two inch wooden Devon. This is a brown and gold with red dots. Dot it off, and there you see. It's got a, uh, a red tag at the end, eyes at the front. And underneath it, there is a wire crate in case Mr. Eustox decides to have a go. And the idea is that the wooden Devon will spin and rotate with these, I don't know if you can see those blades. But as the water hits the blades, that will rotate and spin and you can see I've shaved off the edges of the wooden Devon so it flickers with the sun and that gives it an extra little bit more enticement. For that I've got a, a swivel coming out, I've got 20 pound of two and a half feet fluorocarbon and that goes to another swivel and I'll show you that. So we've got 20 pound of fluorocarbon, two and a half feet, so another power swivel, and then I've got a beaded swivel that slides between another swivel. And the idea is when the salmon takes, it doesn't show any friction. And off that, I've got a boom with three swan shot and three quarters of a lead. And I can adjust the shot according to the current, so I can put more shot on or some off. And that's about eight inches off the deck. And uh, what it allows you to do, it allows you to fish really deep in these very deep holes. Bob Kemmel's got an 11 foot hole right under the bank. Very difficult to get down with the mech, very difficult to get down with the fly. So the idea is that we'll flick it out in those undercuts, bouncing it through the pools and try to entice the salmon from under the bank to come out and nail that as it spins. So I'm using my 10 foot spinning rod and I'm using 20 pound fluorocarbon all the way through uh, with my spinning reel. Right, let's go and give it a go and see how we get on. So this is the classic dog kennel pool, and as you, as you can see, uh, it's made into two parts. That's the upper part, towards Gypsy, and salmon line under that tree there. And as you come down here, the water sculls out. The floods have um, taken an 11-foot um, hole out of here under this undercut. It's very shallow on the gravel bar over there, but over here, this is where the depth is. And the idea is you bounce the dead minnow on that fast water. You see the fast crease on the underbank? So I'm going to get in the other side. I'm going to bounce the Devon through underneath the um, bank, and let's see if we can find a salmon uh, using the Devon minnow. Here's the undercut, 11 foot hole underneath here. I've had fishing, I've, I've had salmon out of here with an upstream mech dragging it back, but I just fancied in this hot, really hot weather, that if I drop that down, and you can just see how the dead minnow will swim. Look at that. You see that flickering? Isn't that just beautiful? There we go. And we'll do an underwater shot for you to show you what it's like underwater. And what we do is we literally just drop it under our feet here for just let it go down, 11 feet. We don't cast, we just literally drop it. And you work the increase the under the side here. Now I can just feel the vibrations going through here. So that's gone down about, ooh, good 11 feet. And I'm working above the line. So I'm just gonna lift that up. That's it, sink and draw. And then bounce it through. You can feel the gravel bar underneath. So you keep it on the crease. Now. I've got my finger on the line so I can feel any vibrations, any hits, any attacks. And when the salmon hits it, they can be very delicate and you strike, or they can be absolute thumpers. And they bend right round and you just have to strike into them. So you can leave that as long as you like, entice the salmon to it. So I'm gonna leave it there for a few seconds. I'll pick it up and bounce it down just enticing the salmon onto it. So I lift slightly, small lift, big movement. Just to feel that just bumping that lovely clean gravel underneath. And we'll get right alongside it so I can feel every movement. Let's see whether we can find a fish in here. So this is how we do it. So initially on the inside bank and then we'll work our way out 
and let it come round and swing round. The fast flow is under the bank, the salmon will sit on the faster flow, more oxygen. They're probably less likely to be out on the shallows unless there's a decent oxygen level on there. So this is probably where they're going to be sitting, right under the bank. And there could be several under here. Um, it's a lovely deep hole, very difficult to get down. Um, just let that work for a second, then we're going to lift. Yeah, swing it up a little bit, you can see that it's there, there it is. And it will suddenly just tip off, and there's a drop off below, I can feel it now, look, 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 look. Just felt the, the Devon minnow just drop another two feet, so there's obviously a drop off there. And look at that, a big drop off. I've had to let some line out to get it down. So there it's about eight feet, and there it's 11 feet. So we can see that there's a massive drop off below here, and the salmon will sit in the drop offs. Now we're just going to let that work. So the spinner's working, the Devon minnow's working 10 to the dozen. So every 10, 20 seconds, just keep that lead moving, and the Devon minnow will just flicker back into the lie of the salmon. And as soon as it gets close, it will nail it. That's lovely. Just working it through. Working all the way through. I have my first salmon on the Devon Minnow at Dog Kennel. I just went really deep and this is a good fish. And he's taking this Devon Minnow really, really quite deep. I'm going to let it run a bit. He's shaking, he's shaking. Just look at this, this is wonderful. Wow. Right under the bank, that fish was under the bank. And I just worked the Devon Minnow and he slammed it. So, so pleased. So this could be my first on the Devon if I can just pull him in. Ladies and gentlemen, fish number 13 on. And that was tight under the bank. This is a good fish as well, feels good. He's moving, he's moving. Just gotta keep the pressure on him. Oof. Oh yeah, 20 pound line. I was using a brown and gold dead minnow. He's taking me right under the bank here. Oh, he's taking me. If I can get him to walk up. And I just paternosted. I put three shot on here as well, just to get the weight down. And we're gonna see this fish in a minute. The dead minnow has gone right the way up. There he is. Oh yes. Oh, lovely, lovely. The Devon Minnow's shot all the way up. And he's shaking, he's head shaking. Just gotta be careful of the weed. Just gotta get his head up. Let's get him up. There he comes, there he is. Beautiful, beautiful. There he is, if I can just get his head up now. There he is, lovely, beautiful. A fish of about 10 pounds. He's head shaking, he's head shaking. Just got to keep him away from the weed. We've got a salmon on, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. I think we can land him. Just got to keep his head this way. Keep his head this way. That's lovely. Now, there he is. There he is. Beautiful. Let's get the net on him. He's shaking. Oh, he's still going. Oh, he's still going. Oh. Ow. Got to keep him away from the weed. That's lovely. That's lovely. Oh, still fighting very well. Very well indeed. There we go, on the Devon Minnow. Beautiful silver bar. Here he comes. Let's see if we can land him now. Let's get the net ready. In you come. See him in there. Gotta curl him round. Let's see if we can get him in. Yes! Fish number 13. I am absolutely <laughs> delighted. Wonderful. He's got a mark on his side from a seal. But we've got fish number 13 here. And it's the first ever fish I've caught in a Devon. So I'm absolutely made over. Wonderful news. And I just have to get the hooks out. 
Oh, wonderful. Let's have a look at them. Oh. All right, there's the hooks, right in the scissors. And if we can get those out, out come the hooks. Hooks are out. Let's try and recover the fish. Get it on the flow. Oh. Oh. Wonderful. On the Devon. Oh. Oh. Right, let's get it on the flow. Try and recover the fish. Oh. Oh. Let's see if we can get this fish recovered. Whew. fight. Very good fight. I'm just going to get the, the weight out of the net. Get that out. Recover the fish. Okay. Alright, the weights are out. Let's get that fish recovered now. Oh. Put that to one side. Right, let's see whether we can get this fish recovered. I think he will recover it once we get him facing upstream. There we go. Wonderful. Fish were about 11 under the bank. It's a bit worn for wear. It's been attacked by a seal, you can see that. But uh, nonetheless, a lovely salmon tucked right under the bank, really deep. Let's see if we can get this to recover. Uh, he wants to go, he wants to go. I think we can recover this now. Oh. Get him, get his strength back. Oh. Wonderful. <laughs> well, the Devon Minnow is definitely working effectively. See, this is beaten up by a seal. But look, he wants to go. I think he'll be okay. Oh yes, he's starting to move. That's wonderful. Oh, lovely. Let's give him a chance to recover a bit longer and then we'll let him go. Wonderful news. Lovely. Okay, let's slip him away now. Let's get the net down. I think he wants to go. Off he goes. Off he goes. Wonderful, wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, fish number 13. Outdoor kennel on the Devon Minnow, under the bank. Well, I've been trying for seven years to catch a fish on the Devon Minnow and that's my first ever fish on the Devon. And I'll show you the setup and the rig. I used a beautiful Devon, wooden Devon. I'll show you the color, but he definitely wanted it. And I am absolutely overjoyed. It's the 7th of June, the day after my birthday. Came out for a few hours. I just missed a fish earlier. Lost a salmon up at Harbridge Corner about half an hour ago. And I thought I'd come down here and work the Devon Minnow under the bank. And uh, it was the right thing to do. There could be another one under there. So uh, the fish was uh, hit by a seal, so it had some marks on it. But uh, very, very pleasing indeed. 